we do a bit of sea bass. Um, John Dory. So we simply pan fry those with some nice crushed potatoes and some seasonal vegetables. Cornish cracked black pepper, season the skin side to start with, straight into the pan. A little shake to make sure it's not going to stick to the pan for us. So at this point we want to season the underside of the skin. Nice, nice Cornish rate potatoes. I'm going to blanch them to start with. Nice golden brown on there. Yeah, the John Dory here is what it's caught locally. And we'll pop a few into that nice warm butter there. You're going to have Crush those down, butcher believe it or not, to surprise me with as well as um, all of our meat products, he's got um, a little market garden and he grows all the macro herbs. Obviously being by the sea, you know, the seafood is all important. Um, we've got some nice local bok choy, we've got some nice ten skin broccoli, and some sugar snaps. Put those straight into the shape on pan, nice shallots, some parsley into our pan make sure that the um, potato gets a really nice coating with just a little bit of oil. I'm going to make a little crayfish butter sauce. Those ones are here. I'm going to put that into there. Put that into there. Pureed vegetables to give the, the plate a little starting point. And this is a carrot puree. Now what I don't want is, is for the plate to look contrived and constructed, I want it to look rustic. And with the vegetables, again, they're all nicely seasoned, they're perfectly cooked, so they don't need to be messed about with at all. So you've got the nice crispiness of the end of the bok choy there and the perfectly cooked middle, some nice snacks there. You've got the really nice crayfish butter, and the butter's just been taken just past hot, so it's going to near the Bernoisette stage, so it's just going to be like a nutty flavour in there. John Tory. Great on the top, and there you have it. Yeah. Some pan fried dumpling, some crushed cafe potatoes, some beautiful seasonal vegetables.